Martin Griffiths. I spent 15 years working in, in, for insurers and the last six years I've been working for data and software companies helping insurers make better decisions. At Frisk, we can help you utilize software to make better decisions throughout the underwriting and claims processes that ultimately are going to deliver better results for you and your stakeholders and, and improve your portfolio. What I've seen over the last few years is insurers and commercial lines working really hard to catch up with where their colleagues in personal lines are. Personal lines insurers have worked really effectively in sourcing lots of different data sources to enable them to make better decisions at point of quote and putting sale across home and motor uh, lines of business. Uh, in commercial lines, what we've seen is insurers taking advantage of the data held by credit reference agencies to make better decisions at pricing and then take, uh, taking advantage of other data sources in some uh, post-sale processes for compliance and fraud. Now, what that gives you is, is a one-dimensional result in terms of points of uh, quote, and also you get a, this lumpy process post-sale because no one wants uh, underwriting to happen after you've gone on cover because that leads to l horrible customer experiences. At Frisk, we believe that there's the opportunity to orchestrate more data at point of sale and point of quote to give you better decisions and a better customer journey. There's lots more data becoming available uh, and already available that insurers can use. I think the big challenge is to be able to sort that data and use it effectively. Some uh, insurers struggle to understand uh, perils at, at a granular level during the process. So those can be served up particularly where there are multiple properties involved or what are the neighboring businesses? Because it's very easy for insurers to say, right, I understand this florist, for example. Florist are fairly innocuous, less chance of, uh, of fire, but next door to the florist, there's a chip shop, high risk of ignition and spread. And the other side, there's a firework shop. Those are the sort of things, if you can understand the environment around the business, that could lead to a better decision in the long term. And then there's the opportunity to use open source data. So we've seen in manual underwriting processes where the underwriters are going to lots of different websites. We can automate that process, save a lot of time, actually make that consistent and help again to make better decisions. And then there's other, other factors like, is the business transient? Is it moving from place to place? So gathering all of this information up very quickly into one process means you can more effectively score the business and give it a, 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 a weighting that's appropriate to it and price it more effectively and make a better decision on risk selection. Insurers already have a requirement to understand the people behind the business. They, they need to do that for their own compliance purposes. Um, but ultimately, fraud is committed by the individuals behind the business. Fraud is an individual pursuit. Um, uh, businesses don't make decisions. It's the people within a business that make decisions. So understanding who those individuals are and the risks they pose is vital. So if you think about those directors, have they got other policies with you, uh, directorships of other businesses? How are those going? Actually, have one, has one of those directors committed fraud? Would you want that, that person on your portfolio again? That ability to look at the business and then look at the people behind it is vital. And once you're able to do that, then you can counter other risks, such as Phoenix businesses, businesses who've gone into a pre-packed administration and popped up the next day. You get that, that, that proposal for a florist again. Yesterday, they were trading as florists are us. Uh, today, they're florists are them. They're the same business in the same place with the same people behind it. Uh, but the previous business you were insuring actually had lots of claims, but they can declare, no, we haven't got any claims. Being able to look at the directors behind the business, score them effectively as good will lead to better decisions based on the information you already have within your portfolio, but being able to coordinate that, use that in real time during your sales process, um, along with external data is gonna give better decisions and a better customer experience. The important thing is not just to think about it from an underwriting point of view, because we have the capability to work during the underwriting process at point of quote, point of sale, through midterm adjustment and at renewal. But we also have the capability to uh, uh, detect fraud during the claims process as well. Once you've detected fraud, being able to surface the network connections of all of those people who have had un undesirable behavior within your portfolio at point of quote and point of sale 
is actually a very good thing. And being able to do that in real time and understand those connections enables the underwriters to make better decisions. And then if you supplement that with third party data connections, sourcing the right data and orchestrating it at the right point of the process, uh, for example, removing that um, lumpy post-sale process for compliance and actually doing it in real time, it leads to a better customer experience and a, a better outcomes for your portfolio. And it saves money as well. So th it, th there are lots of reasons for proceeding in that basis. And that's why I'm particularly excited about the range of products that we have.